In these problems, we're being asked to simplify uh, some expressions with negative and fractional exponents. So let's take a look at this. In this first one, we're multiplying these two um, things, x to the negative 1 6 times x to the negative 3 fourths. When you multiply, you're going to add the exponents, and that's really all there is to this problem. We want to add negative 1 6 and negative 3 fourths. So what this comes down to is a problem in adding fractions, and you'll remember that we have to have like denominators in order to do that. So I'm going to convert these to twelfths, I think. We'll multiply this first one by 2 over 2. So negative 1 6 is the same as negative 2 twelfths. And negative 3 fourths multiplied by 3 over 3, that would be negative 9 twelfths. Now when we add those together, we get negative 11 twelfths. So this comes out to um, x to the negative 1 6 times x to the negative 3 fourths is x to the negative 11 twelfths. We can go a little further with this. Um, you might leave it there depending on what your teacher is asking for. But since this is a negative power, we would rewrite that as 1 over x to the 11 twelfths. And you might write that as 1 over the 12th root, 12th root of x to the 11th. All of those would be equivalent. All right, let's take a look at this one. It looks pretty complicated. We have a fraction, and we're raising it to a fractional power. And remember, when you raise a power to a power, well, first of all, when you raise a fraction to a power, you do the bottom, you do the top. Uh, they both get raised to that power. And when you're raising a power to a power, you multiply the powers. So let's do this one piece at a time. Let's do the top first. To get the power right, we have to do negative one-third times one-half. Well, that is negative one-sixth. One-third times one-half, multiply the top, multiply the bottom, you get negative one-sixth. Now let's do the bottom of the fraction here. One-half times a negative two, that's negative one. So we get x to the negative one-sixth over x to the negative one. And what I'm going to do here um, to simplify this now, this on the bottom with a negative uh, exponent, I'm going to move that to the top. So I'm basically dividing it out or multiplying it out. So it leaves a 1 on the bottom, which we're going to ignore pretty soon here. But on the top, we've got x to the negative 1 6 times x to the positive 1. Since we moved it up from the bottom, that sign of the exponent changes. Now we're multiplying these two. So we simply add the exponents. Negative 1 6 plus 1. Well, that's going to be x to the 5 6. And we can drop off this over 1. And that's what that comes out to. So that's a little bit of work with simplifying fractional and negative exponents.